via smart contracts while, while Naver Financial acquires Upbit for $10.3 billion with potential stablecoin collaborations under South Korean regulatory challenges. They're trying to get their acts, their ducks in a row and their acts together so that they can be okay with their stable coins going forward. I also sit back and kind of say to myself, well, you know, um, with all these countries trying to control, actually, with all these countries trying to control stable coins as if they're their own personal private CBDCs controlled by the government, that's not the way to go, folks. I'm, gonna, I'm speaking to all governments out there. That's not the way to go. Stable coins were meant to change, to absolutely disrupt the banking system. I know that's what you're afraid of, but your banking system needs that. The moat between the haves and the have-nots is far too large. It's far too large. 